Hello, how are you doing today? This is John Zimmerman with AlgebraTestHelper.com and I just um, had something in my mind I want to kind of get it out there and, and share with you and it's this question is why is the US, the United States, ranked so low in math as far as world ranking goes? Um, you know we're like 34th or I don't even count anymore it's, it's, it's just it's just almost like you can't even believe that we're so far behind um, as far as uh, world ranking goes in math. And I'm sure you've heard the news reports say, well, the United States is falling back, you know, in reading and math and countries like China or Singapore, you know, they're like way up there. You know, this is not a good situation, okay? We're talking about the country that the United States that has, you know, just a massive amount of, of track record in technology, math and science. You know, we're like the forerunners of, um, you know how why our world has changed i mean at least in the last hundred years you talk about you know the space program you know um, all the various other technologies that have come out of the united states why is it what's happening in our country that's causing us uh, to be ranked so low well you know a lot of people will go ahead and just blame it on um, the schools or you know blame it on the teachers and you know maybe all that has a part of it but you know that has something to do with it obviously you know and people uh, it could just so conveniently say oh you know it's the schools you know schools over here schools are you know here I'll write that a little better schools are bad you know all right you know and you can see you know, the media and a lot of folks are beating up on teachers and schools and everything else and you know and there's there's some truth that hey our schools maybe aren't uh, what they used to be okay but I think more importantly um, than that okay there's something going on and a lot of a mind, a lot of minds of Americans, okay, especially during this this time, this recession, you know, we're not feeling so hot about ourselves, okay. And I think the times were maybe the '90s or, you know, early 2000s, you know, things were you know, a little, little bit better, um, you know, things came a little bit easier to this country. There was a boom, okay. In the meantime, we we didn't have to work as hard, but guess what? A lot of other countries have been working a lot harder, a lot harder, a lot harder. And maybe it's our work ethic, okay, and the values that we're instilling in um, our children. And I'm a parent myself, so I'm, I'm pointing the finger um, at my myself just as much as anybody else. It's our thinking, okay. It's our it's the way we perceive ourselves. And so now we hear these um, news reports constantly over many, many years. Hey, the United States is uh, ranked and bad we're falling behind you know uh, china is taking over guess what that's getting drilled into our minds okay and we got a real image problem okay and we're a lot of young people are hearing this and then they're hearing all the things about oh the schools are bad teachers are bad you know education's a crisis you know what that's that's not good so what am i trying to what's the point here that i'm trying to uh to to get out here is is you know what you have to take responsibility for your kids attitude okay it's what's going into their mind okay and and as a country we need to start putting in a lot of positive things into our mind we need to have a whole uh, makeover and saying listen yeah we went through a terrible recession you know we're still in it and yeah maybe we're falling um, behind but we need to get a little national pride here and say hey we need to we need to get back to be number one Okay, and we really need to do it. And it's not going to just be the schools. Okay, you just don't send your children off, and and everybody at the schools are going to you know take care of the situation. This has got to be a total um, effort. Okay, this is students, teachers, parents, communities, government, the whole everything. Okay, and we all have to pull together to get back to be number uh, number one because that is where we're supposed to be. Okay, we don't need to be rank down here at 34 or whatever the case is it's ridiculous okay so do your part you know be proud and be an example okay so if you're watching this video you know say hey, listen uh yeah i'm in the united states but guess what i can succeed here and it's still the greatest country in the world and i can do really really well but we need more people out there uh, that is going to um you know spread this attitude around if not our country is you know is unfortunately going to be heading in the wrong direction instead of being ranked number 34 we'll be like 104 okay behind 
um, Antarctica or something like that. We can't have that. Okay, it's just not. It's not the destiny of this country. Okay. Well, anyways, I needed to get this off my mind, and uh, hopefully, uh, this inspired some of you out there to you know at least feel you know pumped up and make a difference. All right. So you have a great day, and thanks for listening.